Yo guys, Pokemon Master 556 here, and I've got the most exciting video I probably have ever made in, in two years. Um, I can't believe I finally actually have my hands on one of these, <laughs> so it's pretty exciting for me. But uh, as you can see, I do have three cards in the back over here that I do want to show you guys first before starting off. Um, I wound up winning this little puppy on auction for like $15, <laughs> so stupid cheap, this is a VS series Bruno Steelix, and uh, over here, I got a sweet nine tails from Expedition, Gem Mint 10, hollow, beautiful card, um, I have a nine in my collection, so I'll be selling that one eventually, and... I couldn't resist when I saw this on auction. I uh, won it for a pretty fair price. Got the Flareon EX from Delta Species. So I'm thinking I may try to go after the other two EXs, which are just Flareon and Vaporeon, or Vaporeon and Jolteon, sorry. Um, but anyways, I have this box here. Um, I have not yet opened it, but it is a medium flat rate box. I'm gonna be opening it on camera, so bear with me. For the slowness try to get this open quickly i don't know how well the guy packaged it i'm pretty sure he packaged the crap out of it because of what is in this box so i guess we will see here in a second as i smack my camera and move it around no bueno Yeah, so I have a really cheesy uh, camera stand, so don't make fun of me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to bust open the seal here. <clears throat> uh, stickiness of the tape. Alright, so it looks like he sent it to me in a binder, and he did bubble wrap it, so I really hope nothing fell out. I had to tell him that cards always fall out of binders when you ship them in binders, so I'm hoping that he like maybe had a had something for that so that they didn't fall out and have any chance of getting damaged. <clears throat> I know he said that the hollows are I think they're separate in something, probably double sleeved or something special. So Get this bubble wrap off of this binder. He said that he's had this sitting in his closet for the last, uh, well, pretty much 20 years, I suppose. This came out in, not 20 years, uh, this set came out in 99. So, it's been sitting in there for, it's 2016 now, it's pretty much 16 years, 16 and a half, 17 years. <laughs> Looks like he's got some stickers on this binder. Really, really hope nothing has any binder damage on it, as it is not in a D ring binder. Um, cool little stickers on here. Um, so, let's set this aside real quick. Um, really excited to get to go over these. Um, I really should have just paused the video. It's gonna be three minutes of nothing, pretty much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start it off here. Um, right here, I guess it looks like he's got these in four pay, uh, four card page sleeves with top loaders sitting in them. First off, we've got this Alakazam here, <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna take a peek at the back of it. I can't see any scratches through this top loader. Um, so that looks good. As for condition, if I could get it to maybe zoom in or maybe get a little bit of light down here, back behind the card, so you guys could check conditions with me. So this one's kind of looking like a 9. It's got some strange edgeware on it on the corners here. 
Um, may or may not dock that. I'm um, really hoping to get a 9 on this. At the least. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. Next up. Got a Blastoise. And as you guys can see here, these are first edition and they got thick stamps on them. And that is super awesome. I'm going to pull this out of here and take a little look at the hollow pattern on here. Not the pattern, the condition. Um, let's see here. For some reason. It's like a, a thick amount of like strange edge wear down at the bottom corner. So you guys might be able to see that. Um, I don't know why or how that happened to these cards. But I'll take a look at the front of this to see if there's any scratches. You could see some light silvering up there at the top. Which does kind of suck. See that in the light and some silvering on the top. Um... Let's try to get this to focus in a bit. Really hoping that these could at least grade uh, anywhere in between 8s and 10s. Looking this over, I'm thinking it could get probably an, eh, I want to say an 8.5. So sorry if I am moving a little slow here. I am quite excited to look these over, um, a little nervous honestly, after seeing these last two cards, not quite looking as good as I would have hoped. So we got the Chansey here, which does look to have, you can see some scratches on that left hand side. Some down or on the right as well. It's a little off center left to right, which does suck. Um, this one's looking probably like an eight as well. <clears throat> so I'm really hoping to come across some cards that do look nine. So this is like more of a near mint to mint looking set. I'm looking for a mint one. Um, as you guys know, those are like impossible to find. Next up is the big card that everybody knows and loves. Got the Charizard here. So, I know he, he told me that this card was near mint. So, take a look at the hollow pattern on there and see how it looks. does have some scuffing up at the top where it's like scratches of edgeware a little nick of silvering at the top right corner there which does suck and it doesn't really look like it has many scratches on the hollow I actually can't even really see any on the hollow as for the back yeah as he said it's more of a near mint looking card um, those look like this card might only get like a six, to be honest. Looks like that might be a small crease down there at the corner, that bottom left side, as you can see in the light. So, looking these over, actually there is a crease in there, actually a piece of binder damage right there on that right hand side. So you can see right there. So... Might be having a little talk with the seller about maybe getting a kickback on price or just returning it. I really don't want to have to return it. As I recall, a lot of these cards actually looked mint. Um, as you guys know, looking over through some people's cameras that take their pictures that aren't exactly always the best of quality. Um, which always, of course, sucks. Looks like this Clefairy's got a nice fat uh, pack pulled scratch right down there at the bottom. You could see that there. there Maybe some on the right right and left hand side some lighter ones Maybe 
maybe near mint to mint again so some edge wear down at the bottom left hand side sorry if I'm going over this slowly guys this might be a long video <laughs> as we are only five hollows into the set <coughs> I'll try to pick up the pace some I just don't want to damage these cards at all especially considering it could be a possible send back return purchase definitely looked better than I thought it did in the in the picks but we might just be yet to run into a very good looking card as I was saying this Skyridos so far I could only see what appears to look like a scratch a few scratches you can see some on the right Uh, I'm coming down from a cold on my sneeze. <coughs> Ugh, bless me. So, thank you. <laughs> if I could get it to focus. Back of this looks good. Except for down there, same thing again. You can see at the bottom right hand side, a bit of edge wear down there. Sorry about that, had to pause the video because I had to blow my nose as I have a bit of a cold. So, um, this card I already knew I was aware of. I think it just looked near mint, maybe near mint to mint. Um, centering obviously on this thing is just horrendous um, quite a bit of scratching down there on that right hand side and the right there as well on the top right some lighter scratches and a hollow scratch going through right out the pack the back looks about the same as always each time I look over the backs of these they have a strange nick down at the bottom like that so hopefully none of these fall down while I'm stacking these out next up is the Machamp let me make my camera auto focus because it keeps on staying blurry next up like I said Machamp out of a theme deck, of course. So far, nothing looks to be anything even above a 9. Maybe not even anything to be a 9. Um, this hollow, however, looks well. for the back of it and actually it's lovely so you can see there there's a crease on the right side right there as for the rest of the card that really sucks because this probably would grade a gem but instead probably get a six or a five simply due to that Because that's how it works. Next up, we got Magneton. So take a nice look at the hollow on here. a little bit of uh, some pack pulled factory lines on this one other than that this card looks very very nice maybe a possible candidate for a 10 more than likely a 9 so that was Magneton 
Next up, we got Mewtwo. You guys might be able to hear my TV going. Little bit of silvering on that right hand side, as you can see. Little sparkle on the yellow border. For this card, this Mewtwo looks pretty, pretty good, pretty clean. Um, looking at over the back here, I would say. Another 910 card. So, some of these cards do look good, but I think I'm going to have to have a talk with the seller about maybe giving me a partial refund or something because these aren't what uh, they were said to be, obviously, quality wise. A couple of the cards we knew weren't mint, but. That's how it was discussed, so hopefully he understands and is willing to help me out. He's a pretty busy fellow. Once again, small amount of silvering on that side there. You could see some light scratches over there on the right or the left hand side there. Decent centering. And looks like, unfortunately, you could see that. It's actually a small corner pinch. So it looks like, kind of like a crease right there. Which sucks, because other than that, this card looks very, very good. Moving along to the Nine Tails. It's like a couple of the hollows slipped out of the case, or their four page pockets. The nine tails is quite off center, as you can see here. Take a look at the back. Definitely only looking eight worthy. Got some light scratches in the hollow as well. Nonetheless, does not look too bad. Definitely at least an 8. Um, <coughs> see here, which card am I supposed to be in? Looks like we got Polyrath next. Which is possibly even a candidate for a OC grade. But PSA, probably not. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, looking this over, still, this one does not look bad. It's just got a couple baby nicks on it. And it's just heavily off-centered, as you can see there. A little speck of dirt. Other than that, the hollow looks pretty clean. But with those darker colored cards, it's always kind of difficult to tell how they how they really look um, without like a really strong light directly in front of the card to look it over, of course. Next up, we have the Raichu. Small silvering there. The hollow patterns on these things are just insane. And look at that. It's just so awesome. I wish that they would have had hollow patterns like this on on more of the sets. Oh, looks like there's some scuffing above the right between the H and the U and right shoe down here on Thunder Attack. Other than that 
I would definitely consider this a mint card. So I'd be happy with that. So I might be breaking this video into two parts because it's just taking so long for me to show all of these. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, um, but I just want to be very careful with these cards as, you know, they are very precious cards, <laughs> more or less. So the back of Venusaur here, looks like it's got one little nick up there, top. It's got some whiting here on the sides as well, you can see there on the right hand side. Very small, not too bad. Um, it's for the hollow pattern on there. Can't see anything wrong with it. Definitely a candidate of it for a nine. So far, I haven't seen a single card in this lot that looks like it's gonna grade a ten. So <coughs> I was told that this was pretty much a, a pack pulled set of hollows, is how I was described. And then, other than a few other cards that were not, and that is obviously not quite what I am seeing here. As you could see with this one, you could already see scratches right off the bat, like right there. Probably even if I could, there you go, get that lighting to shine right up here. Has a bunch of uh, light, yeah, I see the scratches in the foil where it's damaged in the right hand side as well. And I know that the back wasn't exactly the greatest looking either. Probably would grade a 7. Got some nicking, nickage on the bottom, on the top. Left hand side is pretty clean. Along with the right hand side. So, that being said, I'm going to upload this into two parts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this very long video. And stay tuned for part two on that. We'll take a look at those cards.